welcome to my channel and welcome to the big build. Now I've basically finished the roof here and we're just covering it all in now with felt and batten. We call it felt and batten. It's a breather membrane and it's also a British standard batten. In our case, everything's red. So we've got this red batten, we've got this red felt and basically that identifies to the building inspectors and that sort of stuff, the product in some cases. And also in our case, because we're using a manufacturer's guarantee across the board, we need to follow their system and their system is red batten and red felt. Anyway, the roof structure is virtually finished. We've got a little bit to finish over the porch once the scaffold has been removed. And the scaffold, believe it or not, is gonna be removed because we wanna tile the roof once the sheets are off and all the poles are out. Because if, if for example, we tile the roof first um, and they drop a pole and smash tiles, or, or equally, if their guys need to get up and down the roof, they can climb up and down the battens quite safely to work, to get all their sheets and their metal work out and all the scaffold out of the way. So that's a really good thing. So um, have a little look inside and I'll just give you a quick run through the roof. Obviously, we've got three dormers just like this and they give us a nice bit of light. We've formed these big gables here, which are from 200 by 50 and they basically support the lattice trusses that run all the way through. They're picked up by this girder truss, which sits down onto the wall below and that creates this really nice big clear spans for all of the rafters down onto this ashlar wall over here which again is down onto the existing outside wall and then beyond that is our oak frame we'll see that in a minute and we've also got this load bearing stud partition here which travels from the end of the lattice truss all the way down again over the big load bearing wall underneath and we're just about to tidy the ends of it up add a couple of little posts underneath our scarf jointed valleys there which is going to be lovely because it's reducing the span of the valley and equally it's picking up that lovely joint there as well and gives us a really nice triangulation where these valleys meet the ridge and the, the, of the lower or the narrower section of building. So this is the second lattice truss. It's actually the longest single spanning truss on this job. It's about 7.1 metres. And then this is a small gable end roof on this end as well. So you can sort of see the scale of it. Um, it's gone together really, really nicely. We try to make sure that we get everything square, level, plumb, true. And so when we're manufacturing all of our rafters, it's a matter of cutting like, you know, 20 of one, 30 of another, and they're all going to go together perfectly. They're all going to fit together really well. A couple of other notable things where the valley rafter comes down, you'll see that there's some grounds here and all that's for is to pick up the ends of the battening that we go through here because they do actually reach the valley. But because the valley is quite narrow and when you're trying to mitre over that on the outside on the roof batten, it's really nice to have some secondary grounds a bit further back, especially when the roof is walking up and down the valley because these bits of batten that come through here, you know, they are a little bit on the weak side if you're not careful. So that's the roof structure, and we've got the task of insulating it all now, which is going to be interesting. Again, we're going to set ourselves up really, really nicely for the insulating. I've built the roof to take the insulation. So when I get a sheet of PIR, which is 1,200 wide, and I reduce it into three equal strips, they come up just underneath 400 millimeters. They come up to about 395. We've spaced our rafters at 450 centers to suit our design and our engineering. We're using gaffer tape on the edge of the insulation, which means that when we cut them equally into equal strips and put the tape on, we get a perfect friction fit. So we haven't got any offcuts of PIR other than if we're taking a piece off the end. So that'll be a separate video of how we've done that, how we set it all out. I'll go into that in a bit more detail, but that's pretty much it. We've got some fascia and soffit to put on. That'll be in another video as well. Um, but in the meantime, we're going to crack on, get this nice little bit of stud work done over the top of here now. And that's it. Pretty much finished the roof. <laughs> 